really get a better place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line Let us... Hi, this is Mary from Mary's Stamping Happenings and today is There's a Card Thursday. And for There's a Card Thursday, I would like to show you how to do what I call the flip-flop card. Isn't that great? So what do you need to do this card? First of all, I'm going to be using the stamp set Watercolor Wings. I am going to be using the Knight of Navy Hello Honey and Old Olive Ink Pads. For cardstock, this you're going to make it a little bit differently. Instead of five and a half by eight and a half, we're going to use a four and a quarter by eleven half, eleven inches. Um, Hello, honey. And what you do instead of cutting it this way, you cut it this way. So, and you can still get two cards out of that. What we're also going to need is we're going to need a piece of mint macaron and um, this one I'm using um, five and a half by four and a quarter but whatever you need you're going to need to get a washi um, punch out of it and you're going to need to get a scalloped punch out of it and uh, you're going to need to get a butterfly out of that so just big enough to do that what you're also going to need is you're going to need a three and three or a, a a four by four inch piece of Whisper White and a piece of Scrap Whisper White. And then you're going to need a piece of, and I'm using here the Designer Series Paper English Garden, and you're going to need to do a four by four piece of um, Designer Series Paper. What else you're going to need uh, is you're going to need some Stampin' Dimensionals, some glue dots, of course, my favorite. Um, you're going to be needing um, your two and three quarter, two and three eighths uh, scallop circle punch, your two and a half inch uh, circle punch, and I'm also using the washi tape punch. You're also going to need the big shot, the magnetic platform, and I am using the bold butterfly and the butterflies. Um, thinlets. And what's really great about this, this one from the Bold Butterfly fits in perfectly with the one from the Butterfly Thinlets. Those, those are the two we're going to be using. One from each of them. I just love them. And then also we're going to be using our um, this is the fluttering textured embossing folder. It's got the butterflies on it. I don't think you can see it, but it's got the butterflies on it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, oh, and you're also going to need your Simply Scored tool. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of Hello Honey, your 11 by 4 and a quarter, and you're going to score, if I can do this upside down, you're going to score at two and a half inches, and then you're going to score at six and three quarters inches. Oops, a little off there. there. And it's going to fold like this. And fold it and make sure that this part fits. If not, just take, just go to your trimmer and just trim off a little bit so it fits perfectly. So, then what I am going to do, and you can do a couple of different things. If you have an edger and you want to edge it, you can edge it, punch it out. I am going to take this part, and I am, because I'm into the butterfly modes, I am going to put it into my butterfly uh, flutter uh, embossing folder, and I'm going to go and run that through the big shot. And what you have then is you have something that looks like this. I think this is just great. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your two and a half inch circle punch. 
Now, if you don't have the two and a half inch circle punch, but you have the um, circle of uh, framelits, you can do the same thing. And even, in fact, if you want your circle to be in the center, that's the perfect way to do it, is because this won't be centered this way. Uh, so if you want it centered, you can. But what you're going to do is you're going to center it right like that on the first, on the small one. So what you're going to do is you're going to punch. It's going to be between the small, small end and the middle end. And you're going to center that on that um, score line. And you're just going to punch it out. See, and it does not center it. So if you really want it centered... Take your framelit and go center it. Okay, so we've got that, and I've got all the, make sure they close, and got it perfectly like that. So now I'm just going to decorate it. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to, with um, my glue dots, I'm going to put the designer series paper on. And I love this designer series paper. It has... It's a watercolor type thing, and I just really like it. And I'm just going to center that on the flap that will show. So it's the big flap. You close it up, and it's the big flap that'll show. Okay? Just like that. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to create, where's my, I'm going to take the uh, mint macaron and I am just going to punch out a scallop punch, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, piece of scrap whisper white and I am going to create a butterfly. I'm going to use three of the different, so this is triple step stamping. I'm going to start with the one that has the least amount of detail on it. And I'm going to stamp that in night and navy. And I have found it best to stamp off and then stamp. And then i got to clean this off. And take that one off. And then I do the one that has the least amount. And I'm going to stamp that one in Old Olive. And again, I'm going to just go like that. I'm going to stamp off. And then with the photopolymers, it's really great because you can just line it up and stamp right over it. Then I'm going to clean this one off. And then I bet you guess what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take the one that is totally covered. And I'm going to take my Hello Honey. I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to stamp off. And I had not stamped off a couple of these. And I kind of wish I would have. Because if this last one... I like to see more of the green through it. So there we have it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, butterfly thinlet and I am going to go and I'm going to cut that out. I am also going to cut, oh, and I forgot, we do need a piece of scrap. Hello, honey. Because I'm going to take that out and I'm going to go over to the Big Shot and I'm going to cut out of the Hello Honey, I'm going to cut the butterfly from the bull butterflies. And then I'm going to take this over and I'm going to cut that out. So I'm going to have three butterflies. And this is what they look like. I have the one that I stamped. Then I have the mint macaron one. That's a full one. And then I have the intricate design out of the Hello Honey. And I'm going to put that right on there. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to stamp the Just For You 
in Knight of Navy. And I'm going to take our washi tape, our new punch. I love this punch. I think it's so cool. And I'm going to punch that out. Okay. Now what you can do is you're de just decorating it. I'm decorating the outside. What you want to do is let's put the butterfly together. And I'm just going to use a couple glue dots. stick that together. I have heard that we have rumors that in the new ha holiday catalog we have a really fine tip uh, liquid glue pen which I'm going to really like. Then I'm going to put the butterfly on this um, scalloped circle punch. And now this is probably where you'll need to um, do some jiggery. What you want is you want this to be able to open and close all the way. See, this is not going to open all the way. It's going to get stuck. So you want to put it down like that. So you only want your glue dots or your glue on the bottom of the butterfly um, scallop punch. And then what I like to do is I like to lay it in here with the top first so I know it's going to fit just like that. So what you want to do is this wants to open up, okay? Then what I'm going to do is with some, st oops, <laughs> now there goes a dimensional. With some Stampin' Dimensionals, I am going to center this underneath there. And again, if you want to center it, use your circle um, framelits and go right ahead. Um, it may look better depending upon what you do. Again, I'm doing butterflies, so butterflies are flirty, flittering by. So, And I'm going to put that. Now what you want to do is with your butterfly, and again, you only want to put these on the bottom of the butterfly. And what you want to do is you don't want to put most of it up there because it's going to be hard. You just want to put a little bit of the wings. What it's going to do is hold down that top of that card. And so I just go like that, hold it down. So it holds that down. Now you can decorate this area, you could decorate it again with some um, designer series paper, but I'm just going to put it down here and I'm decorating again with a 4x4 four four piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock. And um, I think I'll do Night of Navy on this one. And this again is really great because the little dotty things don't go all the way across, but being photopolymer, you can line them up any way you want. It doesn't it look like that's one stamp set? And this way too. And we're going this way. And this way. And this gives you something then to write on. So, I'm just going to put it on, and I'm putting it on down here, not on there. You can decorate that any way you want. Some people also decorate that, but since I did the butterflies up there, I really don't want to decorate that. And I'm just going to center this on, and this is where I'd write my little note. So, there you have it. All you do is go like that. For There's Card Thursday, thanks for visiting and happy stamping! Hey, if you wanna play, make it about a play.